Today on Southern Accent Foods, I'm making this delicious lamb stew with Guinness. Plus, I've got a recipe for these unbelievable mashed potatoes. Let's get started. We'll prep the vegetables first. Dice up one medium onion. Now we're gonna do the leeks. I like leeks, they're kinda like green onions, but they're French and they've got an attitude. Chop off the green ends and save for stock or discard. You wanna make slits down the middle at 90 degree angles and then hold it under running water to rinse the dirt out from between the layers. Dice it up medium and slice up a couple garlic cloves as well. Peel up two pounds of carrots and cut them up into nice bite-sized pieces. I've got about three pounds of lamb shoulder here. You could also use stew meat. Just make sure there's plenty of fat and connective tissue. Having a bone also helps. Give it a good seasoning with salt and pepper. Canola oil in a Dutch oven over medium heat. Get the lamb in working in batches if necessary and cook until browned about five minutes per side. Set the lamb aside while we cook the veg. Get the onion and leeks into the same pan with some more canola oil. Season with salt and pepper and stir and cook until they've gone nice and soft about five or six minutes. Add your garlic and cook for one more minute. Pour in a mixture of two tablespoons Worcestershire sauce and two tablespoons of Guinness. Don't worry, there's more coming later and stir to dissolve any brown bits on the bottom of the pan. Add the carrots and try to coat them up. Transfer about half of the veg into a slow cooker. Now this is optional and probably not traditional, but I want you to sprinkle in one tablespoon of instant coffee. Add in your lamb and surround with the remaining vegetables. Pour in another half cup of Guinness. Add in some fresh thyme and a bay leaf. Cover it up and cook with confidence on low for about six to eight hours. Start checking around six hours or so and stir it up every now and then. This video is part of a collab with the guys over at Just Cook the Damn Food. It's uh, hashtag St. Patty's Food. They have a really fun channel. It's a bunch of guys just uh, hanging out, drinking beer, cooking, joking around. Check them out. It's a good channel to watch. Let's take a look at these potatoes. While the stew cooks, we can make the mashed potatoes. I'm using Yukon Golds today, which are a good cross between a starchy and a waxy potato, and they're going to taste and look beautiful. Peel them up and chop them into large pieces. Get them into a large Dutch oven and cover with water. Add plenty of salt to your taste. Bring to a simmer and cook until you can insert the tip of a paring knife into a piece with no resistance. Drain and set aside and wash and dry your Dutch oven. Pour one cup of whole milk into a small saucepan. Bring just to a simmer and set aside. I'm using this thing, it's called a ricer. I'll include a link to it down below. It's a very handy thing to have for this. Pass your cooked potatoes through the ricer back into your Dutch oven set over low heat. Stir with a wooden spoon to dry the potatoes out about two or three minutes. Now is where we get healthy. You're gonna dice up 16 tablespoons of unsalted butter and keep it chilled. Slowly work in about three fourths of the butter a few pieces at a time, stirring constantly until it's absorbed. Now you're gonna pour in about three-fourths of the warmed milk in a stream, again stirring to incorporate. Pass the potatoes through a flat-bottomed sieve into a large bowl and wash and dry that Dutch oven again. You gotta work for these potatoes. Get the potatoes back into the Dutch oven over low heat. You're gonna use your judgment here. Stir in enough of the remaining butter and milk until you get the consistency you like or until you determine you want to see your cardiologist. When it's time to serve, get some potatoes into a bowl or onto a plate. Top with the stew and try to get plenty of that Guinness sauce on there. Garnish with parsley and enjoy your lamb stew over mashed potatoes. 
Now, once again, this is a collaboration with uh, Just Cook the Damn Food. It's a uh, hashtag St. Patty's Food. If you're Irish watching this and you're saying, oh, this isn't traditional at all. This is never the way we make lamb stew. I want you to notice I've never used the word Irish until this segment. Uh, I'm not claiming this is authentic. My channel is Southern Accent Foods. I'm doing this the Southern Accent Foods way. What's Irish and stays out all night? Patio furniture. <laughs> oh, God. That's terrible. Irish people are known for their quick wit. I'm half Irish. I've got another great video for you to watch right here. Click on that and I'll see you there.